All right, welcome back to the channel. I uh, just got a modification I want to show you on my Ventrac finish mower. I've just got a pile of material here. I've been doing my spring scalp on my Zoysia. And there's only one way that Ventrac offers to collect material, and that's their uh, bagger system that you put on the back. So this is an accelerator, uh, aluminum bagger. I mean, there's a lot of different companies out there that make these. I chose the accelerator because it's aluminum and it's exceptionally light uh, you can also hook an extender on here uh, it's, it comes in handy if you're uh, collecting leaves so i only made a couple modifications on the mower itself uh, i didn't want to change anything on the mower that wouldn't allow me to take it back to factory so your hookups for your discharge flap are still there there's nothing in the way of the discharge flap or if you wanted to put on some type of guard um, lever action guard you could do that as well uh, nothing that I did should interfere with that. So basically all I did was weld, I think it was a 3 8 plate. It might have been a quarter inch. The whole length of this, so this is all reinforced right here. And then I uh, just took a side grinder and a drill and I cut out this square hole that would accept the bagger. So this actual edge piece is thicker than factory and, and so is this portion right here. So most of the modifications were actually done to the bagger itself. Uh, I've got some patches on here. Those are just to weld up some holes, but I basically welded this arm on there and that that portion right there slips up inside the factory portion of the Ventrac discharge chute and that's what's bearing most of the weight. So it goes up in there like that and then this hole right here accepts this portion on the bagger and that is a factory portion on the bagger. So the only thing that was added to the bagger is this arm here. And then I've got a support bracket here just to support this arm because this is aluminum. Um, and then I added these triangular pieces on the inlet of the bagger. There's one on each side. And those were done so that this discharge chute could match up perfectly with the outline of the bagger. So basically it just slides in there and pivots down. So right there you can see that arm that goes through and this is what's carrying most of your weight and even though it's aluminum it ain't bending because that support bracket and then there's the portion that goes down in the hole uh, i don't think it carries that much weight but it does keep it tight against the discharge chute there you go hopefully that'll help somebody out um, yeah it's not perfect and it does fill up pretty quick but it gives you an option if you need something uh, just to clean up some leaves or to do a scalp. Appreciate y'all watching. If you got any questions or comments, leave them below.